Hi, my name is Amar. In this video, I will discuss about Emoji Picker in Flutter using GetX. Here, I have created this project Emoji Picker Flutter GetX by using the Get CLI tool. After creating the project in the pubspec.yml file, I have taken this dependency Emoji Picker Flutter. Now, after taking this dependency, I have synchronized the project and in the home view file, I have written the code to design this particular page. What code I have written? Just let me show you. Now in the home view, you can see it is extending the gate view, which is taking the home controller type in the scaffold. There is an app bar and in the app bar in the title, I have given emoji picker, which is visible here in the body. I have taken a column widget. Now as a children of the column widget, I have taken expanded and as a child of the expanded widget, I have taken a container, right? Now, after that, I have taken another container widget having the height as 70. This container widget will create this one. Okay which will contain this icon and this text field. As you can see in this container, as a child, I have taken a row widget and in the row widget, I have taken this icon button, which is creating this one. Okay. And after that, in the expanded, I have taken a padding widget and as a child of the padding widget, I have taken this particular text field. Okay. Now, what I want is that here, I want to display the emoji picker and to display the emoji picker, what I will do here I will use this code as you can see I have taken a offset widget and in the offset stage I have specified false this means whatever child we have specified in the offset off stage widget that will be visible if it is true that child will not be visible now as a child of the off stage I have taken a sized box having the height as 250 and as a child of the size box, I have taken this emoji picker. Now this emoji picker widget is coming from the plugin, which we have taken in the pubspec.yml file. This, ha uh, this emoji picker has these properties, as you can see on emoji selected, on backspace praised, and in the config, these properties has been specified. Column seven, vertical spacing zero. Now what are the meaning of these properties? You can find from this particular site. The link you can find in the description of my video. As you can see here in the columns means the number of emojis per row. Okay. Vertical spacing means vertical spacing between the emojis. Horizontal spacing means horizontal spacing between the emojis. Okay. Init category means the initial category that will be selected. Now these properties are self explanatory, nothing to discuss here. Okay. Now if I run the project, then you will get output like this. If I save this, then you can see this emoji picker is visible right now my motive is that this emoji picker will be visible whenever i will click on this particular icon whenever i will click here it will be visible and again if i click here then that will be invisible and to do that in the home controller i will declare a variable named as is emoji visible having the initial value as false and i have made it reactive with the help of dot obs now in the home view i will move to that icon button which is available here now whenever this icon button will be pressed at that time i will write the code controller dot is emoji visible dot value equals to not controller dot is emoji visible dot value let me save this and here i will do one more thing I will wrap this off stage with obx widget. Let me wrap it with obx. And in the off stage, I will write controller dot is emoji visible dot value. Now the initial value of is emoji visible is false. To hide it, I will have to make it true. So here I will use not. Now let me do a hot reload. Okay. Now, whenever I will click on this icon at that time, you can see that the emoji uh, picker is visible and whenever I will click it, click it again, then it will be invisible. Fine. Click it. It will be visible. Now, if I go to this text box, then you can see that this emoji picker and this keyboard is visible simultaneously. What I want is that when this emoji picker is visible at that time, this keyboard should be hidden to do that. Here in the home controller, I will create the object of focus node, focus node, focus node equals to 
focus node okay and i will assign this focus node to the text field which i have created this text field is there and here i will write focus node equal focus node controller dot focus node okay now whenever this uh, uh, icon this icon button will be clicked at that time we need to remove the focus from this particular text field and to do that here i will write the code controller dot focus node dot unfocus fine and controller dot focus node dot can request focus equals to true and in home controller in the on init method here i will write focus node dot add listener let me put a semicolon here and here i will write the code if focus node dot has focus then is emoji visible dot value equals to false now let me do a hot restart let me show you the output now if i click here then this emoji picker is visible now if i click on this text box then you can see that emoji picker is hidden and the keyboard is visible now if i click here again then keyboard is hidden and this emoji picker is visible right now if i click on this emoji then what i want is that it should be visible then in this particular text box to do that here i will create the object of text editing controller text editing controller equals to text editing controller okay and in the on close method i will dispose it fine now in the home view i will associate that text editing controller here controller controller dot text editing controller now whenever this emoji will be selected at that time it should be visible in this text box to do that i will go to that emoji picker widget here this has the method property on emoji selected here i need to write the code here i will write controller dot text editing controller dot text equals to this plus emoji this emoji is this one emoji dot emoji now let me save this now if i select any emoji here then you can see it is visible in this particular text box okay now if i click on this back button then it will exit from the app to prevent that to prevent that i will wrap this column with a widget will pop scope okay and it has a property which is called as on will pop here i will write the code to prevent the exit from the app here i will write if controller dot is emoji visible dot value if it is true if it is true then controller dot is emoji visible dot value equals to false else if the emoji picker is not visible then it should exit and to exit here i will write navigator sorry navigator dot pop of context and here i will return return future dot value false now whenever this back button will be clicked at that time it will not exit from the app it will just minimize the uh, it will just minimize this emoji picker right this is how we can use emoji picker in flutter using getx i hope you have liked the video if you have liked the video please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching